Radha chart, also known as spider chart or web chart, are commonly used in comparison, analysis, and decision making where we have to compare multiple variables, mainly three or more, on a two dimensional plane. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how easy it is to create a radar chart in Tableau in few easy steps. So, without any further delays, let's jump straight into it and see how we can build this chart in Tableau. Welcome back, this is Kirpreet from Dataverse Canvas and in today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a radar chart in few simple steps. So let's start by understanding what is a radar chart. Radar chart, also known as spider or web chart, is a two-dimensional chart type, which is designed to plot one or more series of values over multiple quantitative variables. Each of these variable has its own axis, and all these axes are joined in the center of the figure, like spokes of the wheel, and it can be really interesting to show how different patterns in your data can be stand out. So as you can see in this particular spider chart, it is most commonly used in competitive analysis. And this chart is created to represent different parameters like price, advertisement, durability, after-sales services, and so on. And there are three different products which are compared based on the values of these variables. So each of these variables are connected by these spokes to the center of this chart. For better understanding, let's look into the elements of radar chart. So there are four different elements of radar chart. The first one is the center point. As the name suggests, it's the core of the spider chart from which different axes are drawn. Then the second one is the axis. Each axis represents a variable in the radar chart. It can be a different name. So if we are comparing the employees chart, employees data, we can talk about different salaries, their performance, and so on. And in a radar chart, we at least need three axes. Then the third one are the grids. When the axes are linked in a spider chart, it divides the entire spider chart into different grids, which will help us to understand the information which is displayed in a better way. So for example, each of these grids are showing the reference point. So for example, we are looking at this blue dot. It is telling us that the value of this particular blue dot is between 100 and 125, which is actually close to 125. So it helps to interpret the values in a better way. And then the last one is values. Once the graph is drawn, we represent various values on each axis and plot the chart for every entry by allocating different colors. So as in this particular example, we are showing three different series, or you can say product, if we are using a product example, and we are representing it with three different colors, and we are highlighting each of these points, the values in this radar chart. We can also add the text label, which represents the value on each of these dots. So that will help us to understand the chart in a better way and it will highlight the values which we are looking at. So now let's move on to Tableau workbook and see how we can create this chart in Tableau. So in this particular example, I'll be using sample Superstore dataset. And as you can see here, I have already created a radar bar chart where I am trying to show the values of sales over 12 months. So we can select multiple years if we want. So here I have selected 2020 and 21, and I am trying to show the values of sales in these different months. So you can see it here. So these are the radar chart, and we can compare the values of sales across different months. And we can also add multiple years if we want, and it will overlay on top of each other. So let's start by creating this chart on a blank Tableau workbook. So I have already connected to sample Superstore dataset. And to start with, I will be creating a couple of calculated fields. So the first one I need to create is um, a calculated field for month. And what we are going to do here is, we are simply showing all the months, picking up all the months and converting it into date names. So it will give us January till December. 
So I'm just using the date name function and changing the order date into month. So click OK. And if I bring that into row shelf, you will see all the months are created in this particular sheet. So you can see from January till December, we can see all the months from the order date. The second calculation we need to create is for angle. So this calculation, what it will do is, so we, we need to create an angle which takes a circle which has 360 degrees, right? So we need to divide those 360 degrees into 12 parts. So how we will do that? So in this case, we will take a running sum and we will take the running sum and then we will add 360 degrees here. So there are two ways of doing that. Either we can do 360 degrees simply and then convert it into radians or we can use 2 into pi. So 2 pi is basically radians and if we need to convert 360 degrees into radians then we can use radian functions or we can simply write 2 into pi. So this is equal to 360 degrees, right? So now we want to divide 360 degrees by 12 to get all the angles because there are 12 months. So we need 360 degrees to divide it into 12 parts. So that's how we will do that. So now we have created the angle. We will simply click OK. Now we need to create the distance. So we will simply create another calculation. So this distance is the distance from the center. So in this case, we will simply use sum of sales to represent that value. So if I go back to other chart and I will show you, so this is the center. And from here, this distance, like the 97K, it's the sales value. So that's the distance from the center we are using. And the angle, so this angle from this center between December and January, that's the angle we are creating. Because there are 12 months, we are simply dividing 360 degrees by 12. And that's what we are using here. So now we have created these two calculations. We now simply need to create x-axis and y-axis. And before I jump into that, I would like to show you how the equation of the circle works. So as you can see here, x minus h square plus y minus k square equal to r square. So that's the equation of the circle, the standard equation, where h and k are the center points, as you can see in this one. h and k are the center point, and r is the radius, and y and x are the coordinates on the circumference of the circle. So if we look at the Pythagoras theorem, so considering this right angle triangle, which is similar to the right angle triangle on the circumference, of the circle with the center at h comma k. So here we are saying using a trigonometrical equation sine of theta equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. So perpendicular in this case is y-axis and hypotenuse is the radius. So sine theta equal to y upon r. So using this equation our y coordinate equal to r into sine theta and similarly x coordinate equal to r into cos theta. So these values, these coordinates, we'll be using in this particular chart. So let's create our x-axis. So our x-axis is simply radius into cos theta. So what is the radius in this case? It's the distance from the center, right? So we will use distance from the center, so that's the radians. And then we will be multiplying this by cos of angle which we created, right? So that will give us the x-axis. Similarly, we will create the y-axis. And again, distance from the center, we are multiplying it by sine of angle, sine of theta in this case. So we will use the angle here. So we have now created x-axis and y-axis. So these are the only four calculations we need to create. So now let's jump into creating the chart. So first of all, we will be bringing our month calculation into details mark. And then we will be bringing our angle calculation into detail mark as well. And we will be using table calculation for angle and compute using by month. Once we do that, simply bring x coordinates into column shelf and y coordinate to row shelf. And you will see something similar to radar chart is created, but 
we have only the circle as a marks. So we will change the mark type to polygon. And you will see random lines are created, which is normal because right now Tableau doesn't know how to connect these points. So for that, we will simply change angle to path. So we can either do like this, or if I go one step back, we can drag this to path as well. It will do the same thing. So now you will see all the points are connected. And if I hover over to this one, you will see this is month March, this is month February, and this is month December. So all of them are already here, right? So that looks nice. Now I want to bring order date into color shelf in order to select multiple years. And you will see all of these are created here. And let's reduce the opacity. And now you will see here the months are starting from like January is here, February is here, and it's in a reverse order, right? I want after December, I want January here, but it's in the reverse order. So I will simply go to angle and I will reverse the order by putting a minus sign in front of it. And you will see the chart has changed. So it starts from September. October, November, December. So it's in a clockwise order, which is fine, perfect. But now I want it to be rotated at a particular angle, or you can say I want to orientate into a different angle so that it starts from December, January, February, like that. So that also I can do it by angle here. So I will simply go here and I will simply add Pi. So again, we are working with radian, so I will simply use pi as a function and divide it by 2. So what this will do is it will orientate into pi, 2 pi is 360 degrees. So pi by 2 is 90 degrees. So it will orientate by 90 degrees. So if we do that, see, it's changed. So it says December here and then we have January. So December, January, it's moving that way which is perfect. Now, if you see the x-axis and y-axis, they are not showing the same value. So this is from minus 90 to 60K. This is minus 60 to 110K. So let's edit the axis and try to make it consistent. So I'll be using in this case, minus 120. So we will fix the axis. And instead of this, I'll be using minus 120K and here fix and I'll be using 120k as well and then I will go to x-axis edit it and here I will do the same thing I will fix the axis and I will use again minus 120 to 120k so minus 120k to 120k so because I have the sum of sales values between this range, so I'm using that. So if you are using a different data set, you might need to consider different values so that it's aligned properly. So you can see it here. This is looking really nice now. And now what I need to do, I need to create a background of a spider or a web chart as well at the back. So in order to create the grids. So I will simply go to map and go to Mac background images, select the sample superstar data set, and add an image. So in this case, I have already downloaded the image from internet. So you can create your own image or you can download as well. So I will select that image. And again, I will select 120K as a left and 120K. So we can simply set the coordinates that way. So once you do that, you will see our chart will work in a nice way. So here you can see something is not right, right? So here it's minus 20 to 120 and it's 100 to 100K here. So let's check the axis again. Something is not right. So let's see what is wrong in this particular chart. So 120 to 120, this is fine looks like the coordinate which we set in the background image is not set correctly. So let's double click and check that. See, here it's still at 20. So we need to 
press enter there so i forgot to press enter so now you will see here it's starting from december but if you notice the december in the chart is at this point but in the background image it's at this point so what we can do is either we update the image background image to rotate at this particular angle so this december is aligned with this or we can rotate the chart so that this particular point the december point is pointing to the background image so how we can do that we will simply go to angle edited so instead of two let's see if we change it to three what will happen you will see this is rotated but it's going further away than december so we can adjust this we can try 2.6 it is getting close we can try 2.4 yeah it looks much better so this point is aligned with this point so december january it's here so this january is pointing to this one january then this february is pointing to that one so that looks much better and i also want to show the filter for the year value so you can see it here and we can select it as a drop down value. I don't want 28 and 29 as of now. So it will be much easier to create, do the formatting with these two values or even one. So in this case, now I will simply select the Y axis pill, drag and create another pill on the row shelf. And why I'm doing that is to create a dual axis. And in this case, I will change the polygon type of the second one to shapes and i will select circle as a shape you can see it here and then i will simply go here and create a dual axis and i will right click on the axis and synchronize the axis so you will see it here these points are highlighted now right so i will unhide actually i will hide the axis in both these cases and oops if i go one step back and here you can see i will just remove this one actually i should have done that before so here this looks much better and once i do that let's go to the map because this zoom in and zoom out option can create an issue like i just did so i will uncheck allow pan zoom so even if i try to zoom in and out it will not change the layout then so now i will hide the headers and it will look much better here and now let's go to this second dots mark which we created we will go to this one and i will increase the opacity and we can adjust it and here i will bring the sales and bring it into the text label you can see here all the sales values are appearing now and I will change the sales value and do a bit of formatting. And I would like to see the currency with zero decimal places. And I will select thousands as a display unit. So you can see it much clearly. For December, we have sales of 97K. And now there is too much values in the tooltip. So let's go into all section and go to tooltips. And I don't want these values, so I will delete them and even i can delete this and month and year and you can play around with this and increase the size if you want and you can change the shading and if you hover over you will see for january 2021 the sales is 44k and if you go to this one january 2020 the sales is 19k and you can see from the center point this is the line going to january so that's how we can create a radar chart. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions feel free to drop me a message or comment in the section below. And also I will share this background image in my website and the link I will share it in the description below. Thank you, we'll see you next time.